Hello everyone, Chief Meteorologist Brian Hale. We're looking at keeping that chance for a shower or thunder shower along the sea breeze both Friday and Saturday. Don't let that ruin your holiday plans. The chance is slight, but again, it's there both Friday and Saturday. The good news is with the sea breeze, it tends to dry out after about 6, 7 o'clock in the evening. So by the fireworks hour, 9 o'clock on through to midnight, you can expect about 83 degrees and partly cloudy skies at 9 p.m. southeast wind 5 to 10. A tropical wave, a weak one over the Bay of Campeche, continues to drive moisture and energy on into the coast of Mexico, south of the Rio Grande Valley, so they'll see rain down that away generated by that. But again, our forecast calling for sea breeze initiated showers and thunderstorms Friday and Saturday. Radar on up the east coast shows Arthur continuing to churn its way northward, scraping and scouring along the North Carolina coast. And again, the storm is a strong Category 1 at the time of this recording and may very well be a Cat 2 shortly thereafter. Uh, future cast for the Rio Grande Valley shows that opportunity for a sea breeze shower, a thunder shower, for about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, really any time from 11 a.m. through 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And then by the fireworks hour, it's all good. Go into Saturday, and again, you have a shot at a midday shower, a thunder shower, courtesy of the sea breeze. And the seven-day forecast shows a little lull there Sunday to Monday, but then cropping back up, the chance for rain, that is, into the middle part of next week with um, mid-level low pressure over the western Gulf of Mexico. We could see a better chance for showers and thunderstorms by Thursday. That's a look at your 24-7